Next, uh, Richard Cavalier, Cavalier Gil yes. Matthews, and Leroy Fisher. My name is Richard Cavalier. Only yesterday I was told by one member of the council from the office, not, not the person, that this was a matter of uh, filing late. And uh, also I was told today that it's a matter of the address. And I still don't know after listening which matter it is. I will say that uh, if one councilman feels that the other would be an easier race than with the uh, law enforcement officer, that makes sense to me, but it's a conflict of interest. I hope that isn't what this is all about. Then on the re recent election, if it's a matter of where does the man live, uh, I remember reading in the election materials that came one or two elections ago that one of these councilmen doesn't live in the district. I don't know whether it's true or not. It's beside the point. Did this council investigate? If it did not, then it has no right to bring up the matter now because that's selective enforcement, and selective enforcement is illegal even in Inglewood. Okay. The other is that um, both of these people obviously have to recuse themselves. We have a mayor pro tem who is unelected and about to uh, rule on an election matter. So the really, I would say three people out of five are disqualified. Do the two people have the right? Is this a working quorum to take up this matter? This is something very, very serious. And I think it shouldn't be done just as a blip because Somebody wants to say, you can't play in our sandbox. Thank you very much. Gil Matthews, please. Gil Matthews, Gil Matthews, Leroy Fisher, and Jason Major. Gil Matthew, District 4. May I pro Tim? and city council and residents. <clears throat> Tonight I'm proud to see so many residents concerned. My question is finally going to be asked. Where is the money? <laughs> I've been asking that for many, many years. <clears throat> we have audits. The audit has been completed. I know where the money is. And this council will not say a word. Why? Anyway, con you know, I only have three minutes, so I can only speak on one item that's concerning the uh, election. I would urge this council to understand what is happening here. As well, I've been in Inglewood 50 years, and this is not unusual for elections. Elections are downright dirty, and that's the nature of it, especially in Inglewood. It's always been that way. But I would urge you not to take a position on this and defer to county council or to the courts. This is not a cut and dry issue. This is not deliberate. There's an error somewhere, but it's not deliberate error. It hasn't been done in a way to defraud anything. Mr. Butch is an honorable man. He served in the wood in times with the police department. He has a remarkable record. And I would say to you, as I said many times, this council is unqualified to do anything. Right. Totally unqualified. That's why we're in a situation now with $14 million. And yet and still, you had the nerve to put in the city charter that you will supervise all contract employees. Now, how are you going to supervise when you're unqualified? Total. You have no training in, in urban affairs. City attorney is a contract employee. How in the world are you going to supervise him? You can't supervise yourself. You can't even obey the, the city charter. You can't even conduct a meeting properly with Robert Roos. So I urge you, all of you, step aside. Give the city back to the people. And residents, 
if you come out like this to each meeting, change will come. And I can tell you, I'll be no way as tired. Thank you very much. <laughs> Leroy Fisher, Jason Major follows. Leroy Fisher, the first district. Uh, I concur on what Mr. Matthews just said. Um, I know, I know. It seems to me that uh, before this election was held, it should have been certified who was and who was not uh, able to, 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 to run any election. This is kind of weird to me, this whole thing that you're having tonight, because like it's been said, and even by Mr. Butts' attorney, that you them, you know, you can't, you can't vote on this thing with him. There, there is no way, and and the the the, the council, and with the uh, city city attorney, is going to have to rule on this thing. Uh, I don't know how it's going to happen, but uh, it's going to be interesting to watch. Uh, and as to you, Mayor Pro Tem, this resolution one that you then passed last week, you know, you then never give we the residents time to speak on each one of these issues. However. As you did this gentleman this evening, the attorney for Mr. Butts, saying that he couldn't have the time, last week on that resolution, one, the individual who wanted to have a dance floor up there, yeah. you, you give him all the time in the world. I don't know if it's because you go over there and buy your suits or, or, or <laughs> what it is, you know, because you've said it, you know. So it just, it just makes me kind of curious as to the whole thing. It's time for a change in this city. You know, and with regard to this other silly nonsense, this R1, with regard to this faithful central church and this Chandler Partners, hell, we've already given them the Osage Village apartment for one dollar that we built that Councilwoman Dunlap bought to us last week. I do believe that you gave them their property over there on Florence for nothing, you know. Now they're coming in here and asking redevelopment money to, to, to build the property that we've already said no to an individual over in Burbank when they came over here. So it seems to me that, you know, you then with these churches need to wake up. And as to this other issue on this church tonight that wants to put that thing down there at Boston stores, I say no. You know, there is no parking down there. You know, we don't need people That's coming in there. That's the public hearing. You can't address that part. Well, Thank you. maybe not. You get, you'll but, get a chance but, but later. This, these are my feelings, and I will bring it right back to you. Thank you. Okay. After Jason Major, I need to find out if Frank uh, Caruso. Caruso here. I'm here. But that's, but that's for the public here. hearing. That's what I make sure. Next, following Jason Major, will be uh, Henry Brown, to follow by uh, Cindy Giardina. Mr. Major. Thank you, Pro Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, my name is Jason Major, and I've been a resident of the city for close to 30 years. I think it's deplorable that we're spending so much time on an issue as, as simple as uh, some type of clerical, they say it was a clerical error, which I severely doubt. And the, the word outsider I keep hearing, I, I don't understand. Mr. Butts has served this police department here for this city for over 20 years, and he has, actually has a track record of public service and handling city affairs. Uh, to have other people who are actually running against him decide if he can run in the election in the runoff after clearly over 2,000 people in the city have spoken, me being a business person in the city and a decorated war veteran, I don't. I, I think this democracy. This is basically not democracy. This is not what I fought for this country for. This is not what I went overseas and fought for. This makes no sense here. This is not Florida, and this is not the Bush administration. And I think pretty much uh, the people in the city have spoken. And to give our votes away to someone else that we obviously did not vote for for my, quite a number of reasons, I think it's really disgusting. And I think Mr. Butts should be allowed to run in that election, or at the very least, he should let the ju judicial process you know, go on and let, the, let someone else who basically doesn't have any type of vested interest decide it. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Henry.